So we're now busy making the uh, mortises for the big table. So we set up the drill press, set the angle at 10 degrees plus minus, drill it out with a force in a bit, the holes to look something like that. And now Conrad is busy chiseling out the rest. Nice sharp chisel. And lots of manual labor. You've seen us make the tenon joints that side. So what we want to do with this piece to the top of the table legs is we want to make, I think they call it a cross lap joint. And what a cross lap joint is going to look like in this case is going to be something like that. Where we're going to remove that out of this piece on both sides and then basically gonna leave then just cut the center out of this one or the two sides shall I say out of this one so yeah we're gonna leave that oh, we're gonna cut this out and those will then fit into that so I'll show you on the mitre saw we're going to cut this because this is also a 10 degree angle from there to here. So we cut that with a mitre saw this side and that side and break it out. This is the easy one to do. But then to cut this one out, I decided to use my track saw to do it. And I'll show you quickly how we do that. So guys, just to show you quickly how we've decided to do the cross lap joints to do this cut out decided to use the Festool track saw and after gluing the two legs together to give me more space for this to lie on you put it on the mark we've set the track saw blade to the depth of the cut that we wanted and 
then we just basically put it down, make the cut, slide a little bit, make the cut, slide a little bit, make the cut until we get to the other end of the joint. So we've done that once on this one and basically what we do now is take a chisel and we just chisel out the rest and it ends up looking like that. So we've got another three to finish and then we'll show you again what they look like. Now to chop these out I use the chisel and my big mallet. I unfortunately broke my smaller mallet that my very good friend Henny made for me and uh, I definitely gonna fix that I promise Henny but that uh, it was my fault. So what I do here is I start short of the line and chop them out and because you're chopping against the end grain of the red oak it's very 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 hard and it's quite difficult to chop it out but I just start short And I've sharpened my chisel to a more, shall I say, less aggressive edge so that I can use some force and really whack it with a hammer. So let me whack it and show you. So what we're cutting here is the half laps and the long joint between the two legs. This thing is 3.35 meters long and it's going to join the two legs on the ends with half laps. So this is a long in between one, it's 3.35 meters long.